Learning more now about a suspect facing a number of counts of animal cruelty in East Haven. It comes after a video of him appearing to kick his dog went viral. News ace Brittany Taylor is live with more. Brittany. Darren, we are in, we are near rather Kenny Court, which is where the suspect was arrested. Today we spoke to a number of his neighbors. They say that they are shocked to learn of these animal cruelty charges. And just a warning, the video showing what exactly unfolded is disturbing. It's the video that made rounds on social media on Memorial Day. This man, who police have now identified as Salvatore Follow, appearing to kick his brown mastiff, Enzo. Seeing that? No, that's devastating to me. Following an investigation, East Haven police arrested Follow on a misdemeanor summons for two counts of animal cruelty and one count of failure to license. My wife was cleaning the, the, in front of the house, and we just saw the cars went by here but we didn't know there was, you know, the house until, you know, we saw the news. A development that took his neighbors, like Kristen Ott, by surprise. Why do they even own a dog if they're going to treat it that way? I would have done anything for my German Shepherd. And the fact that he has a dog and he treats it that way, someone needs to take the dog and give it a forever home. Then. We also spoke to a neighbor who says he's known the 68-year-old for decades, but did not want to appear on camera. Oh, it was just a bit disturbing. Just, you know, people lose their, their mind momentarily, and he had one of those moments. Not a bad guy, but he got caught doing something bad. Milford Public Schools says Follow worked as a security guard at a high school and was a hockey coach for the Milford Indians for over 20 years. The district says he stepped down from coaching in 2018 and retired from his position with the school in 2019. Police say at least two people have reported seeing Follow kick his animal. Enzo is now in temporary custody of East Haven Animal Control. Shocking, yeah. That's sad, you know. I mean, it's surprising because... We didn't see it, you know. Now we reached out to follow to get his side of the story over the phone. He told us no comment. He hung up shortly after that. He is due in a New Haven court on June 6th. We're live in East Haven. Brittany Taylor, News 8.